with y'all boys, man. DMV DJ back here with another video for y'all boys, man. I got an emotional DMV beat for y'all. Let's get straight into it. But let me thank all of y'all for the support, bro. All the comments and shit. All y'all going to my Instagram and hitting me up, bro. Thank y'all. That shit mean a lot. Let's keep this shit going. I got the free DMV kit and a free sample kit. You can just make hella beats with this. I mean, come on, bro. Eight free samples with the free DMV drum kit. I mean, come on, bro. That's eight beats you can make. And they got stems. You can tweak it how you want. You don't even got to use the full sample. You know what I mean? Credit a young nigga. Hey, we straight. I got the paid version. That shit got 20. You know what I mean? I got more stuff coming. I'm going to keep the free shit for y'all forever, bro. As long as I do this YouTube shit, I'm keeping this free shit up. Hey, but I am in college here. I got to bear with a nigga if I, you know what I'm saying, take a little minute. You dig what I mean? Let's get straight into it. All right, so first thing I started off with was expand of course and of course I just started off kind of playing not really a full chord yeah you know I'm saying so as you can see like right here right here I got a and G playing on right here only G so it's kind of a little bit of a difference right obviously already learning the notes gives you a good start it gives you a good base right um, and then when you when you add a little change like that, boom, it changes the whole, you know what I'm saying, melody as if you would have just kept it. You know what I'm saying? But you keep them bass notes the same. Keep them bass notes basic, right? So what I did after that was go play some top notes um, with another keyboard. The last keyboard did, it was a keyboard that also had some vocals on it. So that's why you heard the extras. So try to find stuff that can layer up. You know what I'm saying? All in Expand, I love Expand. I got this shit for like $15. But I think it, it usually be like 30, 35, but I got it on sale or something. But you know, it's probably one of them things where it's always on sale. But yeah. Right. So nice little cool jump just to start off the whole melody, right? You get what I'm saying? It, it, it's that emotion and it seems like somebody's really, my fault. Somebody's really playing on the piano. You dig what I'm saying? It sounds like somebody's genuinely playing on the piano. So try to play with your, you know what I'm saying, piano melodies. Like, try not to do this a whole bunch of times because it, it, it's, it's repetitive. But the way I did it is like you're actually playing a song, right? Then when you put that with the little, you know what I'm saying, fake chords right here. Uh. Come on, y'all. Got some emotional DMV for you niggas, man. Get in purity, right? I got me like, what's this? Like a little pluck sound? Oh, lead synth, but it's a tiny lead? Anyways, yeah. But I, I didn't use it as a lead, right? So I use it as kind of like a pluck. Right? Kind of like some accents on it, like on a melody and shit like that. Play in the background here, there, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see the velocity. Even though it's purity, you got to, like, manually go in there and, like, kind of do what you want to do with the VSTs. But you can still, like, get away with certain stuff. And then out of this jump, I got vocals from Contact 7. Free plug-in, y'all. Go get that. Go get this free stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm giving y'all a sauce. I'm giving y'all a game. I should be gatekeeping this shit. I'm giving y'all free shit. I should be gatekeeping this shit. Let's get it. I mean... That should sound like a movie, right? I start off with it. I don't start off with it here, but in the second verse, I got it. Like you see that weight I did, right? Cause if I put it right here, y'all see how it's already a note i made it play for longer than it would have did so it's a it's a change you give them that simple change is going to help your beats right because you're not changing it up a whole bunch y'all see my other beats i'll be doing a hell of shit but that's just because i'll be doing it for them trap niggas and the, they don't give a fuck like they shouldn't really they, they you know what i'm saying we hear that shit trap money biggie like we're here in the skino we hear the beats we hear the shit they getting on so yeah a subtle little change, bro. It's not going to hurt. It's going to do more for the beat. But it's simple. It's a simple change. My last sound in purity is just the electric guitar to add some, some like, real movie stuff, right? We got to get this stuff big. You dig what I'm saying? We got to get this stuff big. So we got to make these beats, like, sound universal down there. It's the wrong word, but, like, you know what I mean?
it's damn near like somebody is playing this motherfucker. Like, do, do y'all, like, bro, first off, I copied the piano melody, the top melody, boom. Then copied the bass notes. The bass notes, they, the velocity of these bass notes are all low. Y'all see them? They're low. I got them low, so they're playing in the background. Y'all heard how low they were. So I'm not trying to overload it. Plus, I got to make room in the low frequency for the 808. Kick two, I guess. Whatever you want. You know what I mean, because I, I I put my kick key low, right? So it could really, doof, doof. You get what I'm saying? So I really do that for my for my kicks. I put uh, I do something in the mix and two, like put a soft clipper on it and do some whole extra. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I do for every one of my kicks. Um, yeah, I'm still learning learning the mixing and shit. I'm learning with y'all, bro. I'm doing these vids, but I'm also learning. Like I'm like if I do if I'm doing these vids, I gotta can't just put some shit out. But yeah, so. Here, this part is like the little, you know, it's like somebody strumming it in, like the ring. I mean, and then even right here, right. And then it's different from from this part right here. So it's just good to add them little subtle differences, right? So to get into the drums, we are gonna start with the with the hi hats. I just did uh, uh i just added in a few hi-hats bro like here and there and then i copy that for the rest that's what i do sometimes when i'm making it a simple beat i just only do hi-hats from this little range you know what i mean and copy it's an emotional beat so like we ain't even we we want to hear the person speak we ain't doing too much on the drums y'all see these drums we not doing too much on that right and so i got a, a clap and a snare layering up that always sounds great Come on. That always sounds great, right? So then I got me some perks. The little knock perk, right? I got a Zay Shaker with with, with the cowbell, right? And then I got the the uh, Congo perk, the little bongo. So it's kind of like it's, they all work together. Like one starts it all and then it repeats. You know what I'm saying? So when you got the hi hat in there and the snare and the clap it all makes sense right then of course i got the bill you got it i mean not the bill the 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 dmv stuff get this in my kit down below man on my website just subtle man every 16 just just subtle bro put the mix down low you good nice nice 808 for these type of um emotional beats man spins 808 spins boosted in my drum kit I did this on accident. Sometimes you find the sauce on accident, you might just keep it. I was like, oh, that sounds too good. I don't even remember what I did. I was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So then with the kick, I had the kick in there. It is following damn near every step. And y'all see, I got it below the regular C. So I always put them low. I got it as low as D, what, D. Like D sharp, come on. following area you note, know, you know what I mean? So for the whole melody, this is what I got. Ooh. I mean, what, what that's really it. That's really the beat. Right? That's really the beat. So the only other thing I did was change the guitar melody, right? Just for different parts in the beat. Like like right here. Where is it? Oh, this is one of them. This is one of them. Just the bass. Subtle little changes, man. Come on. Look. Again. Come on, that high frequency right there while you playing them bass notes. <sighs> Maybe I'm gassing the beat. Let me know if I'm gassing the beat, bro. Or a melody, bro. I'm, 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 I'm feeling this shit. I don't know about y'all. 
I'm trying to find my one melody. Maybe I'm I'm trying to find my one melody. All right, so yeah. So this is what I changed up for the little... This is the other thing I changed up for the guitar melody right here. Just because I was like, damn, this should sound cool. And it kind of sounded like a retro guitar. Damn, it sound like a video game. It's low, but that's just so it doesn't overtake the rest of the sounds. You get what I'm saying? But that's pretty much the beat, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and play this for y'all. This shit cranked to me. I hope it cranked to y'all. I'm gonna hit y'all with some more. Go get everything free that's on my website. Support me if you can. I ain't really tripping. As if y'all, when y'all do the free stuff, I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Put y'all email in, cause when I really get the free other stuff, the VIP list gonna get it first. I'm just getting it right. I said I'm in college, so I'm just trying to get it. But I'm out, bro. I'm gonna play this. Go. Oh. 